That red light's starting to look a little better for sure. Okay, okay. If you guys like the setup, let me know. I'm still trying to figure out which setup I like the most. I'm leaning towards this one right now because you guys can see everything in the background, but we're still figuring things out. Anyways, guys, what is up? It's Man Alberta here with another video, and today's video is going to be a review on the Air Max One Anniversary. Boom, here they are, Air Max One Anniversaries. Now, this shoe did come out, I believe, in 2016 or 17, and then was re-released in 18. The original Air Max One was back in the 80s. Um, I will put the date right there. I forgot. I'm pretty... I forgot the date, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, 87. Is it 87? I don't know the date, but. Anyways, here's the shoe right here. I'll have some more information right here on the screen so you guys can see the quick breakdown. But let's just jump into the bureau of the shoe real quick. Now, going on the toe box, you're just gonna have a nice little like suede or felt material of red followed with some mesh on the white. And then if you go up, not a true like gray gray, but it's not like a true tan, it's more of a mixture. You're gonna get some of those suede panels as well, intertwined with some more like neoprene. It's kind of shiny. And then the red swoosh is gonna be the same red felt material as well. Red felt on the heel. I don't know if felt's the right word, but that's kind of what it feels like. And then you're also gonna have some more of that gray creamish panel above that followed with some Nike Air embroidery. Right there, you're gonna get that embroidery, which you can't go wrong with that Nike Air. That looks so clean. Your laces are gonna be white with your tongue also being white, and then you have a white patch with red detailing saying that Nike Air Max. Your midsole is gonna be white, and then your outsole is gonna be a combination of red, white, and black. As far as comfort on this shoe, it's not really one of those comfy shoes. It's more of a lifestyle sneaker. It looks super clean on feet. As far as sizing, I always recommend going your true size when it comes to Air Max 1s. You can go down half a size, but you can always go up half a size. But I do recommend going your true size or going down half a size. But enough of the B-roll, let's get into the on feet. Okay guys, coming back from the on feet, you guys can see how this shoe really looks good. It really does, I do like it a lot. If you guys like this shoe, consider liking this video. And if you guys like this video, consider subscribing to this channel. I do post videos Monday and Thursdays, and I do post on my Instagram every other day at Yellow Alberta, where I do post shoot wear and sneaker photos. But yeah guys, that is it. So stay fresh and stay fly, I'm out. That is, and, and uh, I would visualize things coming to me that I wanted or whatever. Drive home and think, well, I do have these things. Uh, they're out there, I just don't have a hold of them yet, but they're out there. I wrote myself a check for $10 million. 